Hey everyone, it's Crypto Profit back with another video, and today we're going to be jumping into the market. So right now we can see Ethereum actually dropped below 4K, now down to about 3.8K. Also Bitcoin to 47.6K, and the market down about 6% in the last 24 hours alone. If we actually take a look though at the last week for Bitcoin, we can see that it's been down about three to about 4% of a decrease. The biggest one though being the last month, a total of a 25 to 26% decrease from about sixty-four to $65,000 to $47,600. So quite a bit of a decrease there for just Bitcoin alone in the last month. But if you look at some of these, you know, great altcoins that we've talked about in the past, for example, you know, there's going to be some great, great options to look at here. But let's take a look at uh, Polkadot. Polkadot's one that was hit very, very hard. If we take a look at the last month, about a 41 to 42% decrease. So there's going to be a lot of great opportunities to buy in this kind of discounted market. And I want to jump into five specific coins you should be looking into during this market dip and what coins you should continue to stay away from. So the first one I'm going to stay away from is actually going to be on this top page. And what one worse to you know kind of get into at this moment, in my opinion, than Shib Unu. So meme coins only do really, really well when the market is going up. And you can see that here, I had a great, great run up. However, I think we're gonna continue to see Shib come even farther down before we see another nice run up. I do expect this to take place across the board with meme coins. I think meme coins do have their place in the ecosystem. They do have their spot. Their utility is kind of continuing to grow. Definitely SHIB itself actually having a little bit of a use now compared to many, many other meme coins. But, you know, you got to think of coins like SafeMoon. Think of coins that were also huge at some point in time that just didn't stay huge. They continue to drop down and continue to fall off of the crypto space. So I want to take a look though at some of the big losers. So if we take a look at some of the big losers, some of the biggest in the space, there's going to be FTM. And FTM in my opinion is going to be a coin that does insanely insanely well. We actually saw it run up to about $3.48 October 27th at 8 p.m. and now it's down to $1.33. Still seeing a huge huge really percentage increase in just the last year of about 6,600. However, we have to realize this last day alone, seeing about a 12% decrease, the last week about a 13 to 14%, in the last month, about a 50% decrease in Phantom. You're getting a half, uh, really, you know, a heck of a deal here with, a, you know, a half price, $1.33 Phantom. So I do think Phantom is one of those coins, if you guys want to look a little bit deeper into what it is and why I think it, uh, you know, definitely do so. But I just want to kind of cover the prices on what coins I believe are worth getting into. Phantom definitely going to be in that top five. Jumping back into the prices though, there's many, many more coins to take a look at. So Phantom giving you 50% discount, why not take advantage? Well, there's other coins. And I wanna say guys, before you jump into you know buying any of these coins, make sure to realize to do your own research and always invest in things you believe in because it is much easier to hold coins you believe are going to continue to do well in the future when it has decreases like this. And it's definitely important to hold during some times like this. Uh, you know, that's really how some of the richest people become rich is just by holding through some times like these and not trying to time the market. So time in the market obviously is the way to become the wealthiest is by actually, you know, continuing to remain in the market for a long period of time instead of trying to time the market buying and selling when you are probably not going to be able to do so when the crypto market is as volatile as it is. Theta is another one. Below $4 Theta is just an obvious choice for me. I think there's actually more risk in not taking below $4 Theta than taking $4 Theta. We could see the last 24 hours alone being an 11% decrease. Last week, 17% decrease. Last month, 45% decrease or discount in Theta. Theta has so many things going. We talked about Theta drops. We talked about Theta.tv and really the big T-drop token coming as well in 2022. So many great, great reasons as to why Theta is a huge, huge coin to look into for 2022 and definitely during this dip here. And hopefully we continue to see these prices dip just a little bit farther so we can get a tad bit better of these discounts before the end of this year. I want to jump though into coin number three. So if we continue on to the loser section, there's going to be a lot of losers. I mean, everything is kind of tanking at this point during this massive dip. Well, if we take a look at page two, this is where we're going to see Chainlink. And Chainlink's always been one of those coins that, in my opinion, has huge, huge potential because of what it is, because of what this coin provides to this really crypto space. It's an obvious winner. Only 
40% of an increase in the last year alone. You're seeing so much potential in DeFi here recently, an 8.43% decrease in the last 24 hours, the last week only being a 6%, 7% decrease. But you know what? The last month, a 47% decrease in Chainlink. The utility that Chainlink provides, the use staking that is going to be coming along with Chainlink in the next couple of, well, we don't know exactly, but let's just go with the next couple of months to years. I do expect Chainlink to have huge, huge potential and huge, huge growth potential that is with this price and value of $18.18. I'm guessing anywhere up to about $250 by the end of this bull market. So a very, very massive, massive rise to come for DeFi and uh, Chainlink specifically. So I want to jump though into coin number four. So Chainlink, obviously a ton of utility provided use cases, features that are going to continue to bring new par partnerships and more partnerships, you know, over a thousand partners already with Chainlink utilizing what Chainlink is really giving to this community and crypto space. But there's going to be another coin that's really worth looking into. And if we go to the loser section again on Coinbase, we go to about page three. This is where we're going to see a lot of great coins. And VeChain is one that I've been talking about for quite some time. And why do I still think it's an undervalued coin? Well, I don't think it's going to be a huge, huge, huge success in 2022. I think it's going to do very well. It's going to perform fairly well, but is it going to perform as well as maybe Chainlink or you know some of these other alternatives, gaming coins? Uh, probably not. And I'm going to say VeChain is one of those coins you hold for five to 10 years. You're going to be very, very happy and pleased with its success. So if we take a look at the last month, you're seeing about another 50% decrease, about half off for VeChain right now. It's hard not to buy at eight cents. Definitely a coin worth looking into a ton of utility, a ton of features, a ton of use cases, and a lot of reasons as to why people are holding VeChain currently. I want to jump in though to one more coin before we end today's video. So there's been four coins we talked about today already, and there's still more coins that I could continue to mention as when the market's down this low, it's down this, you know, this, this much, it's very, very easy to find a lot of winners. And uh, so that's exactly what we're trying to do right now. But there's so many others out there. So if you want to do your own research, definitely do it. Dig a little bit deeper, find coins that make sense to you. And, uh, you know, you'll understand what I'm talking about when you find coins that really just make sense. They click, they under you understand, you know, the potential behind them. And it's easier to hold that coin through some of this downfall. I want to jump though into Polkadot because Polkadot's one of those coins that doesn't just offer a ton of utility, doesn't just offer parachain auctions, it offers passive income. And I'm talking 12 to 14% depending on where you stake. That's quite a bit of passive income. And that's something you guys want to take advantage of in the crypto space is that high APY. So if you look at the last 24 hours, you're seeing about 8% decrease, but the last month is seeing about a 42% decrease. It's just absolutely crazy to see, you know, Polkadot come off that all-time high of $54.96 and drop down to about $26.77 and continuing to see struggles down here in the 20s. It's just, like I said, a ton of utility, a ton of reasons to believe in Polkadot's future. And there's a lot of reasons to believe that this is a price point worth buying if you are looking for something a little bit more stable at $26.5 billion in market cap. It's going to be a coin that is not going to do maybe a 5x over the matter of a month, but it will see some great, 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 uh, really price values in the future. I think this is a coin worth looking into, a coin worth watching, and another coin worth buying at this low price point. So thank you guys again for tuning in. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know down in the comment section below. I want to hear your thoughts on this bull market, this bull market dip really, as well as if you have not already, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. Follow me on Twitter, CryptoProfitYT on Twitter. It's going to be a place where you can stay up to date with all things crypto. I'll see you guys all in the next one.